Hello Taurus and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 17th of July for the Sun or the Ascendant. The standout news for this week begins on Monday. The North Node leaves your sign where it's been for the last year and a half. The North Node is like our collective direction of travel. Where it is in your natal horoscope may not be the same as your Sun of course. So over the next year and a half, you do have an opportunity to mull over some sensitive strands, perhaps to do with your past, perhaps to do with some insecurities. However, there's an amazing opportunity by next February, as the node connects with Chiron, to really come to a point of peacefulness and release about something that may have proved challenging. But the nodal axis does clash with Pluto in your sector of higher truths right through to the end of August. So although this new event is exciting, it is going to be one that could see almost immediately some uh, conversations or information or some uh, realities evolve in your situation that could make you feel a little vulnerable. But that is where the new moon comes in. It's in the sign of Cancer. So it's very much to do with nurture, security and protectiveness. But for you, this is house three. It's asking you to combine your everyday communication with your feelings. What a great opportunity because it's linking with Uranus. That's encouraging you to really be upfront and authentic, even about certain things that you may find are a bit tricky. Because Uranus can be an electric, quick energy, even if a conversation evolves over the next month that's not pre-planned, actually it could prove to be quite cathartic, particularly with the healing vibe of Neptune tuning into this event as well. Now at the start of this week, Jupiter in your sign, the planet of plenty, is in a square with Mercury in the proud Leo. Don't be surprised if you find yourself supporting someone in quite a spontaneous way. Your generosity, generosity and kindness will be really appreciated. But this is a week where Mars is in an attritional opposition to Saturn. Saturn's in the part of your situation to do with friendships and your future. Mars is really encouraging you to express what makes you really uniquely special. And the more attractive and alluring side of your nature can be boosted by Mars in Virgo. But I feel July particularly is going to make it more difficult to manifest that more charismatic vibe. It's going to get much better in August, do know that. So there could be a little bit of frustration if someone's not being very, very receptive about your interest in them or your own personal ideas that are exciting you and are more future forward orientated. Then by Saturday, the Sun's opposition with Pluto, which is threaded into the new moon as well, but it's broader, that really reaches a crescendo. But it's also bringing into play the nodal axis. So we have a cardinal ground cross. The problem with cardinal ground crosses is that you've got four positions that are all to do with initiative, leadership and command. And they're all competing at a 90 degree gap. So they're all in a square. So whatever we do, there's an immediate repercussion. And the best way to deal with this, I think, is to understand that maybe there are going to be some intense discussions and maybe some sensitive strands may come into the open. Prepare yourself for this because your ruler goes into retrograde on Sunday for 44 days. But despite this, Venus actually forges a beautiful link to the North Node all through this week. What I would say to you is whatever discussions you have, even if some of them do prove to be a little more challenging, there will be the potential for some very rewarding connections. There's a shakeout going on for you. The Cancer New Moon suggests that your ideas, your personal expression can be amplified positively, but perhaps linking the mode of communication much more to how you feel. So I feel that Venus going retrograde in Leo, the issue there for you is that you could feel that you want to keep a sense of, of, uh, of 
appearance up that you're very much in control and everything is fine. But if something around your home, emotional or love life is a little bit challenging, I think really what the node is saying in its relationship with Venus is that it's okay to be a little bit vulnerable at times. It's okay to share how we feel. And even if you do share something to someone who doesn't get it, isn't very responsive, isn't very nurturing, it's your relationship to yourself that's most important. And you can take great honor and pride and credit from being really authentic. So I think that's the message of this week. Communication can be sensitive at times, but if you're very much in touch with sharing who you truly are, that will attract, in turn, the right people to you at this phase of your life. I'd just like to share with you my very special opportunity. If you ascend above this Zodiac broadcast and order your year 2024 personal forecast now, based on your unique birth data, I'll prepare for you the rest of year 2023 completely free of charge. And in my special package of 30% off, and these charts are very good value, please do check out the cost of them, you will get your character analysis, your life roadmap report, which can help you to understand the patterns that are played out in your situation throughout your time in this life and get a much sharper appreciation of how you can work with your qualities and also uh, negotiate the challenges that we inevitably all have. Please see underneath this video for more.